As the mysterious house slowly stopped spinning, they looked out and could see they had reached the edge of a very wild jungle. And peeking out from the jungle, they could see here and there wild, untamed animals. They got very excited and they wanted to explore. And so they hopped out. Straight away, they found themselves greeted by a friendly old man. Hello, he said. My name is Professor Green, and I work here to preserve this wild jungle and all the precious animals that we can find in there. Hello, they said, with the Blues Brothers and the Green Sisters. Watch out, said the professor. Don't stand in, well, what the monkeys have left for you there. Remember, they're wild animals. They're not like us. They just do what comes naturally. Oh dear, said the Green Sisters. Well, we will be careful. Does that mean some of the animals are dangerous? Well, of course. That's just the way that God made them. And it all seems to work beautifully all together in this wonderful wild jungle. Wow, they said. Very impressive. Wait, wait! <laughs> Up came an all-terrain vehicle with uh, a couple of attack dogs in the background. Wait, my friends, my dear, dear friends. My name is Mr. Quickbuck, and have I got a proposal for you? Yes, welcome, my friends. I'm. Oh, what's that I trod on? Oh, it stinks. Oh, I hate the wild. I hate the wild. My name is Mr. Quickbuck, and I would like to make you very, very rich, my friends. I see you, Green Sisters of Blues Brothers, have brought this magnificent, mysterious house. And with it, I wonder if you could take away all of these wild animals. Why would we want to do that? said the Green Sisters. Well, if you take all the wild animals away, then I can burn down all this useless jungle and turn it into a farm. And then we would be able to have some useful animals in it, like this cow. Hmm, they said. Uh, well, don't do it, said Professor Green. Don't do it, we've got to preserve the jungle and take care of the animals. Uh, said the Blues Brothers. Uh, said the Green Sisters. Um, we'll have to uh, just step away and think about it for a bit. Um, we were taught how to pray and to ask God to help us. And so we're going to ask, what would Jesus do? And so off they went to pray. So they went off by themselves, sat very quietly for a while, just thinking about this question, what would Jesus do? And they asked Jesus in their hearts, what would you do, Jesus? Would you preserve the jungle or burn it down and start a farm? Hmm. After a while, they felt as though they knew the answer. And so they came back to tell them. So what's your answer, said Mr. Quickbuck? Well, when we're very still, and when we felt God was near and we asked what Jesus would do, we felt that this was the right answer. That God, when he made everything in the beginning, said it was good. And it was just perfect the way it was. So we think we'll leave it the way with Professor Green and leave it just as it is. Grr, said Mr. Quickbuck. You'll regret this. Suddenly the house started spinning and they realized they had to get quickly to the house and they raced off. In the confusion, a monkey left a message on Mr. Quickbuck's head. Grrr, he said as they raced off. Just as the house started spinning, they thought they heard a noise on the roof, but it couldn't be. So off they went on a journey to another land. Just them, they thought. Or was it?